Okay, so check this out. The thing is um, about seven inches by four inches by almost three and a quarter, or three, sorry, three and three quarters. Um, it opens fairly easy. You got a little indicator that nothing is in there. Uh, it opens fairly easy. Uh, if you get a jam or something, I haven't had one yet. Uh, and then the guides slide back and forth, all pretty simple. The, let's see if I can do this from behind the camera. Auto feeds. And then you have um, push and hold for a period of time to print a sample or a test label. Push and hold for a longer period of time to do a size check or vice versa. I can't remember. It's in the, it's in the user guide. But the main thing I wanted to review, I, I had a competitor's one that was sent for me to review. And uh, it never worked correctly. It, it, each label to get the maximum size on the, on the page required different scaling and I couldn't figure out what the issue was and so you had no reliability it would print just part of the label um, so it wouldn't fail it just kept you kept using labels uh, trying to figure out the size they would print part of it but not all of it uh, eventually I figured out uh, I'll show you later what the issue was and I came up with a test to, fig to figure out the capability of a particular printer but anyway I'll print a couple of test prints Let's see. Coming up. And this printer, unlike the other one that I got, uh, worked straight away. I didn't have to do anything, didn't have to fiddle with any settings. Um, I get good clean labels. Now the other one, what I figured out eventually was the more dark or black area on the label, the more I had to scale it down for the printer to handle it. And so what I did is I came up with a test of uh, basically a four by six solid black image and to confirm what I was feeling or what I was thinking was happening. And sure enough on that other printer, I had to scale it down to like 25% uh, for it to handle. So I'm thinking that other printer just didn't have the buffer necessary to handle even a full shipping label, much less a black label. Uh, so I did this test on this one because I was curious and I'll print one of those and I think this is just a good test for any of these label printers to see it can they handle a hundred percent coverage in you know out of the box and sure enough this one will print 100% black so this is a good one in my opinion this is uh, the review for uh, Munbin shipping label printer, model number P130. Um, it came packaged really nicely and very secured. Um, I got one day shipping. The shipping was very quickly. Um, it comes with the user guide. Um, very easy to understand. was very easy to set up. It comes with all the cables that you will need. Um, this... This printer, it has to be connected to your computer. It's not Bluetooth or, you know, wireless. Um, it, you have to have it connected to your computer in order for it to work. Um, I mean, overall, this this printer is really good. It's I like it. It's it's not so big. It's pretty sleek. It's pretty small. It's It looks really nice. It's white. It's the button here for the feeder. Um, it comes with a pack of uh, some printing labels, a sample. Overall, this printer is really, really good. I like it. I'm glad I ordered it. Um, I can't wait to uh, use this to print out more labels for my business. And it, sh it prints out really quickly. And let me show you guys how quickly it prints out. Yep. It prints out really quickly. And yep, I love it. I love it so much. Um, um, I highly recommend this little printer. Um, I hope this review... Um, helped you guys. Okay, bye.
So pretty user friendly, comes with an easy setup right here. Setup here is easy, you just feed the label through the printer. Just keep in mind you have to have this one plugged in, it's not a Bluetooth, so you do have to be plugged into your computer and the power source if you want a messy desk. Um, but yeah, overall very easy, very easy setup, user friendly, definitely would recommend. This machine is perfect. Mm.